Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. You're not gonna believe this. Gearbest has the Raspberry Pi. Many of you already know what the Raspberry Pi is. It's a pretty hot item. It's usually sold out. It's hard to get because it's a great deal. So what is it? The Raspberry Pi is a single board computer developed in the United Kingdom to teach computer science, programming, robotics, things like that. Other things that people say they could do with it is that they could load Kodi and make a home media center out of the thing. My experience doesn't work very well for that. Anyway, the last thing is that it's on an extreme budget. It's a little card. It doesn't cost that much to make. That's the big thing, to make it accessible to everybody, including students, so they can get off and start programming at a young age and expand their horizons and, and minds and everything. Anyway, speaking of price, GearBest really has the best price in town right now with a coupon code that I provide below and coming out of my mouth, RP. I-3-B-E-N, you could get it for the unbelievable low price of $35.99. Now before we take a deep dive into this stuff, I want to let you know right up front, we're going to separate this into two different parts. One, we're going to focus on the hardware, which is this one, part one, and I'll just show you what you get and specs and such. The second part will be actual installation of the software and lessons learned because I've done this like three or four times yesterday. Some good lessons learned to make your life easy so you don't really want to miss part two either. Now I'm going to be covering more than just this particular item. It's going to be sort of an unboxing and we'll go with the hardware and I'll pack on the installation at the end because it is going to end up kind of a long video because I have so much to cover. So you have compliance information nothing exciting there and you have the actual card now these things are manufactured in two different places and you never know which one you're going to get and you, you'll either get the ones that are made in china or the ones that are actually made in the uk and this particular one is made in the uk now one of the big special things about this they try to design the size of this to be the same size as a credit card so here's my home depot card you can see it is about the same size now again, the link is provided below for this. I'm also going to be covering a kit because this is just the, the board itself. There's no case, there's no power supply. You have to get those two. So they had like a six in one kit. And again, the link is provided in the description box below. It's about 38 bucks. And you get the actual software pre-installed on an SD card. And we'll go over how to do all this. A case, an HDMI cable, a uh, Ethernet cable, a bunch of heat sinks because you could overclock this guy. You don't have to put a uh, heat sink on the chips, but if you want to overclock, which is fairly easy, which is out of the scope of this video by the way, um, you could put these on there. And the actual power supply this is a 5 volt, 2.5 amps, is, which is what is recommended for the Pi 3B. And you can see it's micro USB on this other end. And it comes with all these adapters, so wherever you go, you're good to go. Another thing I picked up was the official Raspberry Pi case. So there's a lot of aftermarket ones, like the one that came in the 601 kit. And this is the official one. I think I'm going to go with the official one. And again, the link is provided in the description box below. It is absolutely amazing how much they pack on a credit card size board and how much power you get these days for the price. It really is amazing. So I'm going to go over the specs. Some might find it boring. Some might find it a good refresher or exciting or whatnot. So let's talk about the chip right here. It is a system on chip, the Broadcom BCM2837. You got a processor going on there as well as graphics and audio. The um, CPU itself in there is the 1.2 gigahertz 64-bit quad-core ARM Cortex A53. You also have uh, HDMI, which is provided by the, or actually you have HDMI and this video here, all done by the graphics chip. It's capable of 1080 um, full HD, and that's provided by a Broadcom Video Core 4. And also audio happens, I guess, somehow in there also. This little chip here, that does your Ethernet as well as your USB. Memory, you have a gig 
of low power DDR2 which is housed under there by the way there's the SD card slot it's push pull not push push on this particular version the older ones were push and then you push and click again this one is just push and then pull out uh, right there that is your Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth chip right there that little guy tiny so you do have a 802.11n and you got the Bluetooth 4.1 as well as low power there is your power port which is that micro SD I'm sorry your uh, micro uh, USB for the power supply right there you're gonna power it like that you got full size HDMI and that is full HD 1080 1080 <laughs> not technically 1080p but whatever you have a three and a half millimeter audio jack also composite video can come out of there you could in, you could attach a special display right onto there you could attach a special camera right on there there's technical terms for these guys like DSI and stuff like that it's I don't want to get too technical on this and, you know, get it all crazy. Um, all these pins here, sort of looks like an old ID cable, don't it? Well, it's not. These are GPIO, which means General Purpose Input Output. And these pins, they could all do different things. You, Some of them provide power. Some of these, uh, you could program to do different things. Some always have the same purpose. But you can uh, attach, you know, wires and control controllers make robots do whatever you want whatever you want to program because you program and develop with this board and you can make it do stuff hell you could use it to uh, control a quadcopter even if you wanted to and again robots and all those crazy things so let's take a look on this end right here you have a 10 100 ethernet and you have four count them one two three four usb two ports one other little teeny thing on the Raspberry uh, Raspberry Pi 3 here you can't see it's almost impossible but you have two little lights right here and you can see on the uh, Pi itself you have two little light tubes right there to allow those lights to come through the case I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the original Pi case you can see how it sort of comes apart so you could access different things depending on your project. So if you got to run cables to your GPIO, you could do it on the side there. Comes with some feet that you stick on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, we got the feet on there, and now we got to take this part off too. Now before I put my Raspberry Pi in there, I want to go ahead and put my heat sinks on. So these are peel and stick. Let you take a look at them. I'm probably not going to drag you all through the actual sticking these on because I don't want this to last very long. But you see there are three different ones. You have one here that's very flat. That will probably go on the bottom since there's not much room in the case. And then you have two more that will go on top of each of these chips. So I'll go ahead and do that and we'll be right back. Alright, so we went ahead and put those on. I was careful to make sure that they, the metal here wasn't touching any of the other components on the board, both top and bottom, so I did have to position them carefully. So next thing we'll do, and you want to make sure those are fixed really good, and you want to make sure that you know you, the chips were clean before you stuck these guys on there. So the next thing we want to do is go ahead and place the Raspberry Pi into its little case here looks like what you do is you uh, trying to see which way this goes it looks like you want to get this end first there's like a lip right there and then it fits perfect so you want to start on this side and sort of lever it in and we'll go ahead and take our cover pop that on there and put the top on and we could put our side pieces on. They make this pretty simple. Probably one of the easiest computer builds I've ever done. Again, you can see the GPIO pins there, so you got special projects that you're building this for. Easy access. All right, so thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you. And please don't forget to tune in for part two coming up shortly. Take care. Good night.